Hi, Drew. How you doing, man? Number 10, Drew O'Connor. Shays back to Pedersen. His wrist shot. Change direction, and they score. No glove, no problem. Drew O'Connor atop the crease. So how does a kid from Chatham, New Jersey, get so excited about hockey? And it sounds to me like you put the skates on pretty early. Obviously, having the Devils around, I think, was was a big reason why I kind of got into hockey. Um, went to a lot of those games as a, as a kid. But my dad was a, a huge hockey fan growing up. He got me and my brother into it uh, at a young age. And then my sister ended up playing as well a little bit. She was younger. But yeah, he um, he kind of got us into it, and, and we kind of loved it right from the start. So you're 6'3 now, but you were a smaller player in your younger years. You were only 5'6", what, 135 pounds. Could you talk about that, how, you know, what it was like to be a smaller player playing against generally bigger kids? I definitely grew really late. Um, so for a while there, I was, I was pretty small. I think it, it helped me, if anything. Um, you know, I feel like I, I kind of always had to work a little harder and kind of learn how to play the game and kind of think the game a little bit better. Uh, skating was always one of my better attributes, but I think as I grew, um, kind of just having that longer stride and and a little more powerful, I think that um, it just kind of continued to evolve and, and helped me. So you uh, went through a little bit of adversity there where you were wondering if you really were gonna play college hockey. And I understand that you are a wizard uh, mathematically and just that crossroads where you weren't quite sure if you were gonna actually continue with your hockey career or you know, take advantage of your intellect. For me, it was, it was tough to kind of make that decision. I guess just either going to college or not playing hockey. It was, it was a tough decision because at the time in high school, I didn't really have any any offers or any um, options, so it was just kind of something I, I kind of stuck with, and you know I, I always wanted to play hockey in college, so kind of gave it gave it a chance, I guess, and um, was fortunate enough to to get that offer from Dartmouth. And the ricochet comes out to Lacerdo. The freshman turns toward goal. He finds O'Connor, and O'Connor scores. Oh, what a goal! And when you got there, then the scouts started to notice pretty quickly. I saw a story where Dave McNabb who's a renowned scout with Anaheim, had contacted you pretty early on. Could you talk about uh, how quickly you kind of burst onto the scene once you got to Dartmouth and were able to get the attention of NHL scouts? It was, it was surprising for me. Um, you know, I'd, I'd always just wanted to get to college and, and you know, be in the lineup on the, on the team. And so I kind of never really expected any of that attention. It was funny actually with, with Dave McNabb. He was one of the first people to reach out. I remember he said that he saw me on the NHL Central Registry and he said uh, I was listed at 5'3 on it. So I guess it was some old information. <laughs> he was trying to figure out how, how I was on the ice looking, looking like I was how I was at 6'3. I have another uh, little one I want to ask you and that's about a game you played against Harvard. You guys won seven to six. Was John Marino playing for Harvard at the time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was my first college game, actually. Um, so yeah, I had my first goal in that game. He was playing. Long way to go, but O'Connor's gonna get there. Here comes O'Connor, he scores! What an answer! And another freshman gets his first career goal. Drew O'Connor makes it a one goal game. That was fun, have some uh, bragging rights. That was the only time we beat them, I think, the whole time I was there, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> I have to hold on to that one. Are you still trying to get your degree? I am, yeah. So I, I continued to take classes actually last year um, when it, everything went online. Uh, I was able to kind of stick with it. Um, I'm three classes short right now, so I'm kind of trying to figure out how to, how to get those last three done. But yeah, for sure, graduating is still a priority. Drew, it's March of 2020, and there are a lot of teams interested in you as a free agent out of Dartmouth. Why did you choose to sign with the Pittsburgh Penguins? Well, I think it's a it's a great organization. Obviously, um, you know everything I've heard about it. It was all positive, and obviously, it's lived up to everything. It's, it's incredible to play here. I think that there was a few factors. I think kind of the way they described my game and saw me kind of evolving into a, into an NHL player. Kind of that that path was was kind of outlined for me. Um, whether it be starting here, starting in Wilkes-Barre, that just being in this organization was was the right choice. You made your debut with the Penguins in the NHL in Boston, but your family couldn't go because of the pandemic. Was that a little frustrating for you, just having to play there and not have that opportunity at that time? Obviously, it would have been great to have them there, um, but I mean, for me, it was just super exciting to be able to play in my first game. Tonight, another player setting foot in the NHL for the first time, Drew O'Connor. Uh, Drew O'Connor, he's a big guy. He's ready to go tonight for the Pens. You know, the Penguins did an incredible job. I mean, they sent an incredible gift basket to my, to my family. Um, because they couldn't make it to the game, so they sent it to the house, which was, my family was, was super excited about that. So yeah, it was just it was just really exciting. And you took that rookie lap, didn't you, by yourself? Well, did you know that was coming? I mean, you kind of do that, you know, everybody kind of knows that's the tradition, so you kind of know that's gonna happen to you? Yeah, yeah, empty building. It was just, just me and the Bruins out there, <laughs> no one else. 
P.O. had played in his first game, um, I think a couple games before, so I saw him do it. So yeah, I was, I was ready for it. <laughs> oh boy, turnover by Flurry at the side of the net, the Penguins score! And just like he drew it up, it's the first goal in the National Hockey League for Drew O'Connor. Drew, uh, you did get your first NHL goal this year in the home opener. Uh, that was awesome. You went to the net hard, found the puck, and put it in. Could you just talk about what it felt like to finally score your first NHL goal? Yeah, it was it was super cool. I remember just getting in on that shift, and, and Dom made a great play, and, and then it was just kind of sitting there. So I, I kind of stuffed it in, and it was it was such a cool feeling, you know, having the, the building go crazy, I guess, and and hearing that, and it was yeah, it was it was such a cool feeling to finally get that one. Downtown Newark, New Jersey, is the site, the start of a home and home series. The Penguins, and the New Jersey Devils. What a special night for this kid right now. He just raring to go and get on the ice. And then you finally do get a chance to play in front of your family in the building where you had wondered at one time if you were really gonna continue your hockey career. And you get a chance now to go back to the Prudential Center and play for the Pittsburgh Penguins against the team you grew up rooting for, the New Jersey Devils, with your family in the building. What was that like? Yeah, that was that was that was awesome. There was a ton of O'Connors in the building for that, which was pretty cool. Just to play in front of them, my whole family supported me so much over the years. So, kind of being able to play in front of them in, in an NHL game um, was super special. Thanks a lot, Drew. Really appreciate it. All the best to you. Yeah, you too. Thanks.